we are the responsible speakers for the results of eating on cutting out sort of bananas, warm family, Alexander Ling, Bang Fu Sei, Wong Hui Sing, Kung Ling Chu, Joseph Ling, Helen Dinkai, Souls of Bang Family, Bigabati Samira, and Li Ki Tong, Anthony Siu, Elizabeth Paul, Sadi Mutu Michael, George William Bunga, Mr. Yer Anthony, Maria Chu, Mr. and Mrs. Francis and Daniel, Anthony Pillay and Daniel, Sula Sundra and Daniel, Mr. Acharam Singh and Daniel, and the Souls of Burrage. We pray for the following intentions, and the special intentions of Steve and Tony Austin. Marie Earl. The intentions of Isaac and for the intentions of Jeremy Bosch. Forsake me not, O Lord my God, be not far from me. Make haste and come to my help, O Lord my God, for his strong salvation. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord of God, and the dream of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Acknowledging our human weakness, and as we prepare ourselves for the Eucharist, let us call to mind the times we may have failed to search for God, as much as God searches for us. The times we may have failed to seek God above all things. I confess, to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, for all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, I will give your faithful offering, right and praise worthy service. Grant, we pray, that we may hasten without stumbling to receive the things you have promised. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. We are the real people of the circumcision, who worship in accordance with the Spirit of God. We have our own glory on Christ Jesus, without having to rely on the physical of riches. If we came to rely on physical evidence, I should be fully qualified myself. Take that man who thinks he can rely on what is physical and even better qualified. I was born of the race of Israel and of the tribe of Benjamin, a Hebrew born of Hebrew parents, and I was circumcised when I was eight days old. 
It's still the law. I was a Pharisee. As for working for religion, I was the persecutor of the church. As far as the law can make it perfect, I was a prophet. But because of Christ, I have come to consider all the advantages that I have as disadvantages. Not only that, but I believe nothing can happen that will outweigh the supreme advantage of knowing Christ Jesus. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let the hearts that seek the Lord rejoice. Let the hearts that seek the Lord rejoice. Go sing to the Lord, sing his praise. Tell all his wonderful works. Be proud of his holy name. Let the hearts that seek the Lord rejoice. Let the hearts that seek the Lord rejoice. Consider the Lord and his son, constantly seek his face. Remember the wonders he has done, his miracles, the judgments he spoke. Let the hearts that seek the Lord rejoice. O children of Abraham, his servant, O sons of the Jacob, he chose. He, the Lord, is our God. His judgments prevail in all the earth. Let the hearts that seek the Lord rejoice. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. My soul is waiting for the Lord. I come on his way. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. And in your spirit, reading from the Holy Gospel according to you. Glory to you, O God. The tax collectors and the sinners were all seeking the company of Jesus to hear what he had to say. But the Pharisees and the scribes complained. This man, they said, welcomes sinners and eats with them. So he spoke to his father. What man among you with a hundred sheep losing one would not leave the ninety-nine in the wilderness and go after the missing one till he found it? And when he found it, he did not joyfully take it on his shoulders and then, when he got home, he called together his friends and neighbors. Rejoice with me, you saints. I have found my sheep that was lost. In the same way, I tell you, there'll be more rejoicing in heaven over one repentant sinner than over ninety-nine virtuous who have no need of repentance. Or again, what women you can trust to God if she lost one, light a lamp and sweep out the house and search thoroughly till she found it. And then, when she found it all together, the friends of Jesus, rejoice in me, she would say, I found not much, I lost. In the same way, I tell you, there is rejoicing among the angels of God over one repentant sinner. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Imam, oh, desire and decision. We continue our whole experience of our life based on the three words that I spoke yesterday. The demand that God seeks, the desire of life in us. And the decisions that we make in life. God, by His very nature, 
be very clear about his desire and the decisions of God. God sees us. God longs for us. Jesus shares this beautiful image of God in his parable today. The parable of the lost sheep, the parable of the lost wife. We also find the parable of the lost son in Luke chapter 15. The desire of God, the decision of God, the demand of God is very clear. He seeks, he searches, he longs for us. Nothing can come between the love of Christ with us. God's desire is so strong for us. We need to ask ourselves in a very simple way this morning, what are my desires in life? What are the precious moments of my life? What are the values that colors and change my day every day, every moment of my day? St. Paul gives us his personal experience. He chose to us this morning to see me. What he has accomplished, who he is, his status, his ego, all that he has. He says, everything I have is a disadvantage. The only advantage I have is to know Christ. The only advantage I have is to know the supreme person of Christ in my life. Nothing else can come between them. To Paul, he considers everything at the back of his head to hear about him. For what lies ahead of him. As he would cry out, I run the race for the crown of unfading glory. Everything else is worthless. The response to the psalm today echoes that the hearts of those who seek the Lord be done. If your heart is filled with Christ, you will be done. Just like how the Lord rejoices in the Lord's sheep, in the Lord's point, of all the choices. That the hearts that seek the Lord be done. The advantage of knowing Christ, Christ alone in our life. Okay. Blessed are the Lord, and God 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 the Lord, the Lord, and God 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 the Pray with me, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the grace and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May the sacrificial offerings, Lord, become for you a pure oblation, and for us a holy outpouring of your mercy. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord for our God. It is right and just. It is to be right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy. To your beloved Son Jesus Christ, your word to whom you meant all things. Whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, 
incarnate by your Holy Spirit in all the virgin. Opening your will and gaining to you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with angels and saints, we declare glory and what voice we proclaim. Holy, holy, holy God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy alone, all to all the holiness. Make holy that for the gifts we pray for and send down the spirit for them like the people, so that they may be comforts, the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly to his passion. And giving you thanks, Father, he broke it. Gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up to you. They went similar way to the suckles and took the chalice. And once for giving the thanks, Father, he said the blessing, gave the cup to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new eternal covenant, which is brought out to get to men for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of God. The mystery of faith. Those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, 
Deliver us from evil. Deliver us from, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin. Save from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. So that the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to the apostles, Peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. But not in our sins, Lord, the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, for live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. And be with your spirit. Take a moment of the Lord. Peace be with Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of all the Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The Lord, the Lord is with you. 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 The Lord You will show me the path of life, the fullness of joy to be in your presence.
Let us pray. May the working of your power, Lord, increase in us, we pray, so that renewed by these heavenly sacraments, we may be prepared by your gift for receiving what they promise, through Christ our Lord. Amen. I'm just wondering where to begin with. I guess you all are aware of the status that we are in, Mukim 12, uh, the CMCO. I've, the parish has sent out a message that the gates of this church will be closed this afternoon till the 20th. Um, all masses, all activities is suspended, gatherings in the parish. Live mass stream will continue daily at 7 a.m. Um, last night, the priest in the deanery in the Penang Island, we have come to a collective decision that all masses in the island will be suspended. So there will be no masses in the Penang Island. So let's keep one another in prayer. And please stay safe. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. Pray for all. God, our merciful Father, source, source of, of healing, healing. has the light of health and well-being on those who have been exposed to coronavirus, those who have contracted the disease. Bless them, protect them, and bring them speedily to full recovery. God of wisdom, Bless medical scientists and researchers around the world with insight and skill, dedication and fortitude, that their work yields knowledge and understanding, speedily finding a vaccine, treatments and deterrence to its spread. Source of life, grant public health and government officials the strength to act swiftly and decisively, with compassion and understanding, in service to humankind, fighting this outbreak, threatening the lives of our brothers and sisters, nations and communities, young and old. God of the present moment, bring hope and courage to all who wait or work in uncertainty. Bring hope that you will make them the equal of whatever lies ahead. We pray all this in the mighty name of Jesus, through the, the intercession, intercession of our blessed Mother Mary. Amen. Have a blessed day. Same to you, Father.